coming back to the ground where you know I spent probably four and a half, almost five years of my life. Yeah, it's a special place in my heart and somewhere that yeah I still enjoy coming back to. Some of my favourite cafe cafes just around the corner too, which is which is always nice to visit. I've just had a, a daughter. She just turned four months um, yesterday, which is amazing. Um, it's been a, a sort of really humbling experience becoming a father for the first time. I'm able to do a lot of different work in the, the mental health space, obviously, and, and really sort of um, lean on different things that I'm passionate about, but all with really the same goal, which is obviously improving this really important topic and subject within our community and within our, within our workplaces through my other work. And yeah, I'm just found sort of peace in retirement, I suppose. Nowhere to Hide, uh, which is in bookstores now, was uh, a project that started in 2020 when I had no work and uni stopped and you know no one knew what the world was going to sort of do for the next few years. So I began to write, a, I sort of felt like there were some unanswered questions that I had about myself and the, the journey that I've been on as, a, as an AFL footballer and even into my junior life. And for me, my own personal experience was, you know, when things looked at their best, you know, behind the scenes, things were really starting to sort of unravel and I was starting to really struggle with sleep and depression and anxiety. And, you know, I wasn't a better friend or colleague or footballer um, by not sharing or talking to anyone or seeking support, I actually began to sort of regress in all areas of my life. And so I try and paint that picture to be really clear with people. So I started to sort of express that. And what I found was interestingly enough that uh, it was a lot harder than I anticipated. I'd spoken about my experiences, but that's a vastly different proposition than actually sitting in the moments rekindling your thoughts and, and feelings from different uh, parts of your life, particularly difficult times, and actually expressing them on the page. So I'm really proud in the end of the product that we, we get out there. And I, I genuinely hope that it's useful for people um, in at least contextualizing my journey. And you know, again, hopefully giving people more of a license to say, regardless of circumstances, that if you are struggling to put your hand up and actually get the support that you need. Reaching out for the first time, particularly with people that you know, can be really hard. I, again, had everything going for me. I was getting paid a lot of money to play football. I just won a premiership. You know, life looked amazing. Now, I was lucky enough to have the support of psychologists at the Bulldogs, but most people don't have access to that service. So Lifeline steps in there. Really, when people are feeling down or perhaps they're struggling to sort of work through the challenges that life presents them, they're the people that you can ring up and talk to and they can support you through some of the most difficult times that people face. So for this partnership to be set up is really, really important. It's really about people understanding that Lifeline do need donations to train their, their crisis workers. You know, I think the $39 pass that you can purchase today is essentially how you can facilitate, you know, a call that could save someone's life. I know many people in my life that I've met who've utilised their services and, and I know they do have a, an online virtual chat to, uh, service as well now so they're a fantastic organization that do you know wonderful work in our community the suburb of Footscray is a, a wonderful place but it still has its challenges like all suburbs and the Bulldogs have made a significant effort over a long period of time to support the community that they're a part of and I think you know this partnership with with Lifeline and the, the we are all mental health supporters um, slogan is really just an extension of that the work they're doing in this space it, it makes me proud it really does